but I don't have anything to hold on to and slam onto the counter, and I'm definitely not gonna slam my drink down. So I was uh, challenged to kind of push my skill set a little bit. So today we're gonna try doing a mirror glazed cake. Basically, that just means that it's a cake that has a really super shiny glaze on top of it. Sounds simple enough. Um, so I looked through a couple of recipes. Um, I was sent a really cool link of sort of like a spacey themed uh, glaze, which I think is the one that I'm going to try out today. Um, they suggested to just use a box cake uh, and just focus on the glaze. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to be stubborn and I'm going to make the cake and the icing all by my lonesome because that just sounds way more interesting and if I'm going to challenge myself, I might as well do everything from scratch. Well. Uh, let's get started. All right, so you want to make sure that you get yourself a large bowl, a uh, hand mixer, or a standing mixer if you have one. Amazing. Um, so we're going to start by mixing uh, a cup of butter and a cup and a half of sugar, and then we're going to beat all of that together until it's nice and light and fluffy. Start by, and this butter is at uh, room temperature as most things should be because it just makes it that much easier to uh, mix in properly. All right, so we're going to beat this on about medium setting until it's nice and light and fluffy. the damn oven. 350. Bake. Uh, very similar to the cheesecake, we're gonna add an egg and then beat it after each additional egg. So we're putting in four eggs. So now that all of the eggs are incorporated, we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla. I'm just going to use a spatula to get everything down off the sides. This should be super, super light and fluffy. Oh my god, my dear. It's very close. Awesome. So that's all of our wet ingredients mixed in. Uh, we're going to set this bowl aside and we're going to uh, sift together our dry ingredients. Um, for this, uh, you do need uh, cake flour, cake slash pastry flour. We are going to mix uh, two and three quarter cups. Powder. Again, uh, we're gonna do uh, two and a half, sorry, two and three quarters. So is insanely light like it is just like it feels like air when you're mixing it it's pretty cool all right uh, now like anything we're gonna add the dry to the wet and we're gonna mix that up So I'm going to add a cup of whole milk. I'm just going to take a paper towel and use some of this melted butter. Um, and I'm just going to grease the bottom of the pan.
I am going to check up on them in about 15 just to make sure that they're cooking well. Give them a little toothpick test because you don't want them to overcook. All right, see you in a little bit. Those are perfect. Wonderful. So it's time to make the buttercream icing. Uh, I'm just gonna talk through the process uh, and then we'll just skip ahead to me just banging out the ingredients. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to mix stuff by now. So I'll just tell you the process. We're gonna use a cup of butter at room temperature. Um, we're gonna blend that for three minutes until it's nice and light. We have three to four cups of confectioner sugar, which I put in a bowl here because I had to pre-measure it out to make sure I had enough. Uh, we're going to add that a half a cup at a time and then blend and then half a cup blend. Uh, we're going to add uh, two uh, teaspoons of vanilla and then we're going to add a pinch, sorry, a pinch of salt, almost forgot really about salt, a pinch of salt, so just a little swoosh around. Uh, then I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of uh, whipping cream. We don't, I don't, couldn't find heavy cream, which is technically like 36 up percent of cream. This is 35, so it's totally fine. Um, I'm going to check the consistency if I need to make it a little bit stiffer. I'll just add a little bit more icing if you wanted a cream, like if you didn't have to do the miracles, if you wanted it creamier, you could just add more cream. Uh, yeah, so let's get mixing. these guys flat as best as I can I don't actually have like a proper knife for this but I'm just gonna guesstimate and hope for the best part begins. This is where we're heading into the mirror glaze. So um, I've made the vanilla cake. I did the buttercream uh, vanilla frosting, which I apparently suck at frosting a cake. Not something I normally do. Um, so we're going to start off by taking uh, unflavored gelatin and we're going to let it bloom in a quarter cup of water. saucepan here. Uh, we can keep this pretty low. So what we're gonna add is a cup and a half of sugar. And next we're gonna do a sweetened condensed milk. All right, so we want two quarter cup of water. I'm going to melt two cups of these guys here. So now we're going to take 
take the bloomed gelatin. <laughs> so gross. I'm gonna add this bad boy into the mixture here. exactly as I want them to but we're still gonna roll with it fuck it let's see what happens get the cake out of the fridge we're gonna put these all into the one bowl and then try and pour all the stuff over the cake we have our crazy colors See what happens. So I left this in the fridge overnight. <laughs> First on her piece. Are you gonna try it? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna feed me? Oh my Awesome. So that's my attempt at Miracle Ace Cake. Okay, okay, bye. Oh. Okay, bye. A few things that I'd like to improve upon at some point. We'll try it again once I actually have some proper tools, but I think it turned out awesome. And it actually tastes really good. See you next time. <laughs>